unto the Lord for his goodness and his mercy, his love and his kindness that he has shown toward us. I can truly say if it had not been for the Lord on our side, yes, there's yes. no telling where we would be. And I'm grateful that he woke us up this morning. Yes, amen. amen. And started us on our way and has given us a mind to be in the house of the Lord, uh, to seek his face and call upon his name. Amen. Those are the generation. We are the generation that seeketh the Lord. Yes. Seek after his favor. Uh, because we know that in his favor is yes. fullness. Amen. Amen. Pleasures forevermore. Yes. So as we go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we don't have to worry about our, are we in the right place. <laughs> you know? yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You ain't got to worry about that. You're in the right place. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, doing the right My brother, praise the Lord. Just pray for people that were not to start after the council, proceeding on these surgeries and these private, these problems resolved by people. Yeah. And that's going to be a process. A process for a couple of months, a couple of surgeries. So yeah. So just keep me in prayer for that to go with the Oh, the yeah. Right. Yes, yes, Lord. He going to go with you. Do that. Yeah, he signed his paper to kind of. Shake you up, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, he go, he gonna be with you. He gonna be with you. Yeah. Be with you. All right. Well, if there be none of prayer requests, I'd like this church to stand. Thank you, Lord. And let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Thank you, we thank you, Lord, yes. for how good you've been to thank each and every Lord. one of us. Yes. Have you made ways where it seemed to be no way, and have you opened doors that seemed to be shut? Yes. And we thank you, Lord, for each and every request that's been made known to you. you Lord, we know that you sit high, but you look low, yes. that you can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, yes. that you know our weaknesses, you know yes, our frailties, you, Lord, you know uh, who we are. Uh, we pray that you would bless each and every request, yes, according to your will, according to your riches and glory, yes. by Christ Jesus. We ask you, Lord, yes. that you touch our bodies, touch our minds, our spirit, yes. Yes. our soul, yes. Lord, that you go before yes. us, that you yes. prepare yes. the way, that you comfort those that are grieving, that you comfort those that need comforting right yes. now in the name of Jesus. And bless, Lord, the surgeries that our brother is getting ready to uh, engage upon. Lord, yes, show your glory. Lord. Show your hand. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thou art wonderful. Yes. And, Lord, we praise you on tonight. We pray, Lord, that you would send forth an anointing. Yes. Touch our hearts and our minds and our yes. spirit. Hallelujah. Open us up, Lord. Give us revelation. Hallelujah. Yes. Give us strength. Give us grace. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Grant the door of utterance. And, Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus, In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, yes. for he is good, yes. and his mercy truly endures forever. Yes, amen. In Dorat. Uh, we want to, I want to finish up uh, Psalm 24 on today. Last week we dealt with Psalm 24, and we dealt mostly with the background of Psalm 24, a psalm of David. And that particular, this particular psalm is dealing with David uh, celebrating the fact that he was returning the Ark of the Covenant, which represents the presence of the Lord. Amen. amen. So he was returning it uh, back to Jerusalem. Amen. And uh, that was a high day, a high celebration day. And he wrote this particular psalm uh, to celebrate that. But this psalm is also a prophetic psalm. Amen. A prophetic psalm 
that, that, that relates also unto Christ and it relates unto us as well and how we should prepare ourselves to receive the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We should always be in preparation yes. uh, to receive the Lord. We should always be in expectation. Yes. We should be living in expectation of the coming of the Lord. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And I, and I love this particular song because it gives us uh, uh, an outline, amen, of how we should prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord and how we should live uh, here upon this earth. Amen? amen. Uh, I thank God that the uh, Lord wants me to stress uh, nowadays, in this day and time, not only did Christ save us and deliver us from sin, but he also left us an example on how we ought to live. Yeah. Amen? Down here upon this earth. And he's given us strength through him so that we can live holy. Yeah. Amen? We can live holy. We can yeah. live righteous through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, Paul said uh, he loved the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because it's the power of God. Amen. Yes. Uh, unto salvation. I don't know if he said it like that, but that's how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. The power of God unto salvation. To the, to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us look at then uh, Psalm 24. And uh, when we look at this psalm, uh, we have to realize um, there's three aspects of our spiritual life. That we are servants of the Lord and that we are worshipers of the Lord and we are also warriors uh, of the Lord. Amen. And those three are, are, are compartmentalized. You can't separate. Amen. Those three. That's who we are. We're servants of the Lord. We're worshipers of him. And we're also warriors of the Lord. That's why he tells us to put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand. Uh, against the wiles of the devil. We're in a fight, amen, amen. between yes. good and evil. Amen? amen? Thank you, Lord. And we already know good is already won over evil. Uh, it's a fixed fight. Amen. We yes, already know. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. If I stick with Jesus, uh, I'm on the winning side. Yes. I'm on the winning team. Amen. Am I right? Amen. If you stick with Jesus, you've already won. Amen. Yes. And the scripture bears it out. Thanks be to God uh, that giveth us the what? Victory. Victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then it says, be there what? Steadfast. Uh, unmovable. Always what? Abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. Amen. Whatever you do for him is not in vain. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then that brings me to another scripture I quoted this morning. All things work together for good yeah. uh, to them that love God yeah. and to them that are called according to his purpose. So, so it's a win-win situation. Yeah. Uh, to live is gain and to die is gain. Uh, all of you. So whatever you want to do, as long as you keep your mind and your heart focused on Jesus and do it for the right reason. Yeah. Amen. The right motive, the right purpose. Uh, you shall always come out on top. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You shall never be confounded. Amen. 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 Uh, no matter how how, how you uh, uh, seem to go down, you'll always be like a little bobbin. A bob, I call, what do you call them, them fishing people? Uh, wow. A bobbin. Yeah. yeah, I thought I said it right. Yeah. You'll yeah. always float back up to the top. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's it. That's uh, you got to <laughs> stick with Jesus. You'll always float up to the top. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us let us look here then at Psalms uh, 24. Oh, let me get my back. Thank you, Jesus. My God. All right, Psalms 24. And, uh, Elder Corey, will you be our reader for the day? Amen. All right. Uh, verse number one. Yes. The earth is the Lord's. Uh huh. And the fullness thereof. Yes. The world and they that dwell therein. All right, read. He has founded it upon the seas yes. and established it upon the floods. Mm -hmm. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? All right. Now, David starts, starts this psalm off uh, as to give us 
a, a sense of his glory, of the glory of the Lord, his majesty. Amen. God is a sovereign God. Amen. He's a sovereign God. And, and we have to uh, realize that if you're going to uh, extol him, if you're going to worship him, amen, you have to have a, a sense of the revelation of his glory, the yeah. magnitude of the glory of God. Amen? So he starts it off, he says, uh, the earth belongs to the Lord. Uh, the earth belongs to God. Amen? He says, uh, the earth is the Lord's and the what? The food, everything in it, amen, belongs to the Lord. Amen? amen? And, and, and whatever, uh, uh, we, are, we are tenants and we are stewards upon this earth. Yeah. Amen? We create nothing, amen, yeah. uh, of ourselves. Everything was created by God. Yes. Amen. And that which we make, uh, we make with that which He has already created. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And uh, I like what Psalm uh, Solomon said: "Nothing is new uh, under the heaven." Amen. Everything belongs unto the Lord. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And 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 also uh, uh, we belong to Him. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, the wisdom and knowledge that he gives us. Uh, he controls those intellectual properties. He yes. owns that. Yes. Amen. Yes. Why? Because all of that comes from him. Yes. Uh, without him, we can do nothing. Amen. Uh, but with him, we can do all things. Yes. Amen. So we have to we realize our dependency yes. is upon the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. And everything that he made, uh, he made uh, for us to enjoy but it belongs to him. Amen. So we have to realize his, his glory, his splendor, his power, his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding. Amen. Uh, and everything that God has made, he said it was good and very good. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Hallelujah. And everything that he has done is good. Amen. Uh, so we can't get beside ourselves. Uh, we got to always acknowledge him uh, in all our ways so that he can direct our path and realize that our, our dependency is upon him. Amen. 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 Uh, hallelujah. So he says, the earth is the Lord's. Amen. Read. The earth is the Lord's and the soul is the Lord's. Uh -huh. Read. The world the, and they that dwell there. Uh, the world and they that what? Well, and they that dwell therein belongs to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We we are tenants here upon this earth. We are not owners, and everything that uh, we experience, it literally belongs to the Lord. Let's go over here real quick uh, to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter number eight. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter number 8 and verse uh, 17. What does Deuteronomy mean? It means, it means, literally means to repeat. Amen. It's a repeat of what God has already done. Uh, why does God repeat to us what he's already done? What's the, what's the, What's the purpose of it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Amen. To, to pay attention to it. Amen. So that we can get it. Amen. So we can we should meditate uh, upon what God has said. Alright? So uh, uh, Deuteronomy chapter number eight. Read verse 17 and verse 18. And thou say in thy heart, my power and the might. All right, that's what people say. They say in their heart, my power and the might of my hand have made me rich. Wow. Huh? People say that. Read. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Read. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. 
Okay, hold on for a minute. Let me see. Did we miss something? Uh, oh, okay. I'm with you. All right, read 18. Okay. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Now notice, he said, Thou shalt remember. Amen. Deuteronomy. Amen. Remember the Lord thy God. Never forget. Amen. Amen. That, that the earth belongs unto the Lord. Amen. And, and the fullness thereof. Because when you realize that and recognize that, you can be able to see his glory. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You'll be able to value God. Amen. And you'll be able to realize that there's nothing too hard for the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And with God, all things are possible. Yeah. Amen. By faith. Uh, God created the heavens and the earth. He spoke it into existence out of nothing. Amen. Uh, no one else can do that. No. Uh, thank you, Lord. And we should stand in awe of his glory, awe of his majesty. Yeah. Am I right? Amen. All right, read that verse again. Verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to his will, uh -huh. and he may establish his covenant, which he swear to thy fathers, as it is this day. All right, so who gives you power to get well. God. Amen. Uh, he, he's your life, health, and portion of strength. Yeah. Amen. You have no power uh, except that power come from God. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's why Jesus, by God, I feel the Holy Ghost. That's why he was intimidated by Pilate. Uh, when Pilate told him, said, don't you know I have power uh, to crucify you? And Jesus said, hey, you ain't got no power. Uh, all the power you got comes from heaven. Amen. But then he flipped the script. Don't you know I got power to call out the legions of angels? Uh, and they'll come and fight for me. <laughs> hey! Uh, but my kingdom is not of this world. I got another kingdom. Amen. Uh, so, so we got to realize. Amen. Our, our sustainability comes from God. Amen. And it is God that sustains us. Amen. He's the one that helps us. Amen. Amen. He's the one that heals us. Yeah. He's the one that delivers us. Yeah. Amen. We talked about the brother going to the, uh, the doctor for his feet. Amen. It's God that's going to give him wisdom and knowledge yeah. and understanding on how to correct a foot. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's God. God gives the wisdom. Right. God gives the knowledge and understanding. Yes, Amen. Right. Hallelujah. All right. Read that verse again. 18. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get well. Uh-huh. That he may establish his covenant, which he swears to thy fathers as it is this day. Now, notice, he said, so he can do what? Establish his covenant. That's what God is all about. He's a, he's a covenant-keeping God, and he is establishing his covenant. Amen? With us. And I can say this already. Uh, Y'all already know. He's already established his covenant with us. Yeah. Amen. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. And once you become a but God believer in Christ, amen, that covenant between uh, God and you is already established. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And those are the promises of God. Yes, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So he said, I've established uh, my covenant and I swear unto the Father that he swore unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He told Abraham, he said, from you, Abraham, I'm going to bless your seed and all the nations of the earth are going to be blessed through thee. Yeah. Amen. And that came, that prophecy has come to pass through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. How many of you believe that today? Yeah. Hallelujah. That you've been born with a prophet. Yeah. Right? That you are not your own. Amen. You are part of a covenant. Amen. A covenant keeping God. In other words, you do your part, God will do his part. Amen. Amen. I'm going to play like this. The Holy Ghost messing with me. God has already done his part. Hey, hey. He's great on that. Hey. He's great on that. All is finished. When he died, when Christ died on that cross, he said it is finished. Uh, it's finished. The covenant has been sealed with blood. Amen. And with precious promises. Yeah. And then, not only that, uh, to, to, to get you an assurance 
He sent you the Holy Ghost yeah. uh, as a down payment yeah. uh, of the assurance of God. Uh, every time you feel that Holy Ghost moving, it's an assurance uh, yeah. that what God has said, yeah. uh, it's going to come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that with all my heart. Yes. Amen. And that spirit be in you that raised Christ from the dead. Uh, it shall also do what? Quicken, make alive your mortal body. Amen? Hallelujah. So we see you then. Read again. 8, 19, 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. For it is he that giveth thee power to get well. So remember this. It is God that gives you power to get well. That he may establish his covenant, which he swore to thy fathers, as it is this day. Read. And it shall be that if thou do it all, forget the Lord thy God, so, and walk after other gods. Now don't walk after strange gods. And serve them. Don't serve them. Don't worship them. And worship them. Uh huh. I testify against you this day. Uh huh. And you shall surely perish. You shall what? Surely perish. Surely perish. Amen. That, that word perish there means eternal separation from God. Yeah. That's worse than death. <laughs> Amen. That's worse than physical death. Amen. Uh, to be eternally separated from God. Amen. God has a remedy though. He said the Bible says God so loved the world uh, that he did what? He gave what? His only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not what? Perish. Amen. There's a way out. Amen. Tell us the neighbor it's a way out. Oh, I feel like preaching now. <laughs> it's a way out. Amen. You don't have to die in your sins. Amen. You don't have to die and go to a priceless grave. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a way out. And that way is Jesus Christ. He proclaimed it. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Uh, and that's a promise. That's a covenant promise. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's go back. Hallelujah. Let's go back. Thank you, Lord. Let's go over to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. Because we have to we have to get in our minds why I gotta worship God. Amen. Hallelujah. The book of Ecclesiastes. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs. Ecclesiastes. Right? Ecclesiastes, amen, chapter number 11. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. You ready? Drop, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, drop down to verse number 9. Rejoice, O young man. Uh -huh. I said, be happy, young man. And thou you. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Walk in the ways of thine heart. Uh huh. And walk in the ways of thine heart. Read. In the sight of thine eyes. Uh huh. But know. But know this. That, that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. All right. Now everything we do, God is going to judge us for. Amen. Even our thoughts. Amen. He's going to judge our thoughts, our deeds, and our actions. Why? Because he's sovereign. Yeah. Amen. Uh, nothing is hid before God. All things are open and naked. Yeah. Amen. Before him. Now I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying that so that you can reverence God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So that you can know that nothing's hid before him. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that God sees everything and that every work that an individual does is going to come into judgment. Amen. Now, now, see, now I got to get a little, I got I to gotta put Jesus on there. Amen. <laughs> Y'all with me? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now, now when, we, when we confess Christ and believe on Christ, uh, all of our sins are going to be forgiven. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And then uh, what's going to get applied to us that our believers is the righteousness of God by faith through Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, what I do want to say, what I do want to say, I want you to hear me here, 
that right now uh, we're sitting before the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. This word is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of your heart. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what does that mean? That means right now uh, this word is going out and it's judging your heart and your thoughts. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. So when your heart and your thoughts are not right, what should you do? Repent. Uh, repent. Turn from that. Uh, 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 and, 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 and confess your sins and your faults. And the blood of Jesus shall do what? Cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Am I right? Hallelujah. So that's the beauty of being in holiness. I hope y'all catching what I'm saying. Hallelujah. So right now, uh, I'm being judged so that I don't have to go before the great white throne judgment in the end. Uh, and when people go before that in the end, it's going to be uh, not, not what have you done, it's going to be a sentence. Uh, because the angels even record what we do. Amen. What we say. Amen. And report back to God. Uh, God is the record. Amen. Uh, so I'm saying that uh, so you can reverence God. Uh, not fear God. Uh, but reverence him so that you can keep an open and an honest relationship with God. Amen. 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 Uh, Lord, help us. Help us, uh, help us Lord. Help me. Yeah. Help me, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Now, notice this. So he says here that God will bring thee into judgment. Yeah. Amen. And, and notice, see, what I love about this word, amen, this word judgment here. Uh, if I'm right with Christ, I don't have to fear the judgment of God. Amen? And, and, and this judgment then, this word turns into salvation. Deliverance. That's what he, that's the sentence. Amen? Thou art free. Thou art not guilty. Thou art loose. Amen? Uh, why? Because you believe on Christ. That's the judgment of those who believe on Christ. Now, if I'm an evildoer, uh, and I'm trying to, and I go before him, he's going to say, depart from me. That's the judgment. Uh, you worker of iniquity. So judgment can swing both ways uh, with God. We want the righteous judgment of God. Y'all with me here today? Uh, we don't want that penalty. Uh, why? Because I have an opportunity to deal with the penalty now through Christ. Am I right? Uh, that gospel of Jesus Christ, it's literally the judgment of God concerning sin. Yes. Amen. It's his pronouncement over sin yes. to free those who believe on him. Yes. Amen. I hope y'all catching what I'm saying. Yes. Uh, because that's powerful if you receive it. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And when God calls us uh, by that gospel, he's calling us into judgment. Amen. So that we can have our sins dealt with so that we can receive the righteous judgment of God. Amen. Because it's not his will, it's not his desire that anybody should perish. Amen. God wants you to be free. Amen. Uh, he wants you to live free. Am I right? Uh, that's why he gives you power to live free through the Holy Ghost. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes, so, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it right, right now. Amen? Amen. I'm going to repent right, right, right now. Yes. Amen? I'm going to seek him right, right, right now. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Because I got the opportunity. Amen? I got the breath in my body. Y'all yes. with me tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. So, so, so never, never leave the, the, the church or the presence of God under condemnation. Amen? Because the Bible says there is therefore now what? No, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus yes. who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Amen? Why? Because the spirit of life amen, that's the judgment of God have made us free yes. from the law of sin and death. Am I right? Yes. Uh, come on here somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. For what the law could not do and that was weak for the flesh God sent his only son uh, in the likeness of flesh and for sin to condemn sin in the flesh. 
that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled through you and I. Amen. Amen. We can live this thing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Yes. Hallelujah. Y'all probably a little tired. <laughs> uh, but hey, hallelujah. But this thing is real. Yes. Amen. Yes. All right. Now, all right. Now, uh, what verse are you in? You're in uh, Ecclesiastes. 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 Amen. Just read now. All right. All right. Now, drop down to, to uh, chapter number 12. And verse number one. Remember thou thy creator. Now notice, there's that word again. Uh, remember. Wow, that should be the theme of the Bible study. Uh, remember. Deuteronomy means what? Repeat. Remember. Amen. Never forget your God. Uh, remember him. Amen. Don't cast away your confidence. Uh, which have great recompense and reward. Amen. Remember. Remember who? Now remember the one who created you. Amen. Who designed you. Who gave you purpose. Who gave you calling. Amen. Who sacrificed for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you can have a relationship with him. Amen. Who giveth you power to get wealth. Amen. Who healeth you. Who delivereth you. Amen. Who sees about you. Amen. Who cares about you. Amen. Uh, who provided all things for you yeah. that pertains unto life and godliness. Right. Amen. God had you in mind. Yeah. Amen. When he sent his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Come on here somebody. Hallelujah. My God in heaven. So it says, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. Read. The days of thy youth. While the evil days come not. Uh-huh. Amen. And he's talking about remember the creator in the days of your youth before you get old. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And when you get old, you know, you can do less for the Lord. Amen. Now, but drop down to verse 14. This is one of the reasons why we're here. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Now, now notice. God will bring everything you do into judgment. Amen. And I'm saying that to say once again, not to scare you, but to give you reverence in all of God. Amen? That, that God is a merciful God. God is a loving God. God is long-suffering. Amen? Am I right? What other attributes God has? Uh, he's gentle. He's patient. Amen? Uh, and he's love. But then what else? Think he's, he's compassionate, but he also, he's, he's a consuming fire. He's yes, a sir. righteous God. Yes, sir. Amen? Come on here. Yes, uh, he ain't, he ain't going to let you slide. <laughs> uh, uh, because that, 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 that takes away from his righteousness. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you. We have to remember these things. Yes. And I'm saying this uh, because the Lord wants me to say this to you. So that you can reverence him. Yeah. Amen. Come to him. When Jesus gave us the model prayer. And said our father. Amen. Most, what, most, one of the most profound words. Prayer in the Bible. Uh, our father. Amen. He is a provider. Yeah. Uh, one that wants to take care of his children. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I want my children to come to me when they in issues. Uh, I get mad, in fact, when they don't come to me. They go to everybody else. Uh, thank you, Lord, they want to come to me last. Uh, sometimes I just get a text. Uh, what is that? Uh, hallelujah. Come, come. Uh, hallelujah. And, and that's my God. We go to God. We go to everybody else. Uh, instead of coming to Abba, Abba, Father. Uh, thank you, Lord, my God. The one who cares about us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, now, I tell my child, I said, now look, your friends may care about you, but your parents care more about you because we had you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, and we love you. Yeah. Amen? Unconditionally. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. So why not come uh, to, to God, amen, that loves us with an agape love? 
uh, an unconditional love. Yes, Amen. Don't be like Adam. When he got into trouble, he went, what Adam and Eve do? What they do? They hid themselves. Amen. Don't hide yourself from the presence of can you, can you really hide yourself from the presence no, of God? No. Huh? And I notice the love of God. Oh, I feel like teaching tonight. Yeah. Huh? Notice the love of God. God, God saw that they was hiding. Then God stepped out and said, Adam, we're out now. Yeah. Uh, we came looking for them. Yeah. Uh, we're out. God is come looking for you. Yes, uh, oh, because he cares about you. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Oh, man, I, hallelujah. I thank God that he saw me in the ditch. Yes, uh, hallelujah. When I was down and out. He came and saw about me. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, only you got you glad that God came and saw about you. Yeah. Uh, when your mother hallelujah. and your father for something, it was the Lord that took you up. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So, so don't hide from him. In fact, you can't hide from him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And if you think you're hiding from him, he'll call you by name. Yeah. Adam! <laughs> Where are thou? Wow. Uh, hallelujah. My God. What have you done? Uh, God, I want to I wanna get it right. Yeah. Uh, he gave him a chance to repent. Yeah. Amen. To get it right. God gives us a chance to repent, to get it right. So I'm not, I'm not in a, uh, if you allow me to say this, I'm not in a fearful relationship with God. I'm in a reverence and an awful relationship with God. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. And I want to I be able to come to God no matter what. Yeah. Huh? Oh, hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that should be your mindset. Yeah. Huh? Lord, I'm going to come to you first, and I'm going to come to you no matter what. Amen, because you care about me. Yeah. Amen, you care. You made me. Yeah. Uh, you have a plan for me. Yeah. Amen. Uh, he's a holy God. Yeah. Yes, he uh, he's a righteous God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, let's look here. Hallelujah. What verse we read? Verse 14. Verse 14. Read. God shall bring every work into judgment. Now, God is going to bring every work that you do into judgment. Every secret thing. Uh, but everything that you think that you've done in secret, yeah. whether it be good or uh -huh. evil, amen, God sees it and he's going to reward you accordingly, amen, amen? Yes. that's why we should stand in awe of God, amen, all in reverence of him, amen, amen. hallelujah, my brother, uh, not just in awe of God, Especially God's people. You know, I mean, when I say all, oh, I mean, realize that, you know, when you're dealing with somebody, especially another Christian, that you, you're dealing with God. You know, some people try to deal okay. with us with, without dealing with God. I think they can deal with us without God being uh -huh. active or present. But that's yeah. not possible. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes, sir. I totally agree with that. Yes, Amen. Go ahead. One of the things that stood out in the study tonight is just how merciful the move it was for Christ to leave us the Holy Spirit. Yes. A lot of us would have been, never would have been saved if it wasn't for that. I had a spiritual experience when, yes. I, when I was just getting off alcohol. And I tell you what, anything that you sat there and preached about tonight, when I was in darkness, I wouldn't have listened to you. Mm -hmm. I just sat right here, heard you really well, mm -hmm. but I've been like, thanks, no thanks, and walked out the door. That yeah. spirit didn't enter me. Yes. I would not have the belief I have today. Yes. So that's, that's a true mercy. See, yeah. see, now he's, he's preaching the gospel right there. Yeah. Because it says, you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. He yeah. made you alive. Yeah. Amen. So that you could receive this message. Yeah. How many of us, how many of us have had experiences that have gone to church, heard the message, and were none affected by it? Uh, but then, you know, one day, one we day. came with a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Uh, and, and the Holy Ghost drove us in and we heard the message. Uh, thank you, Lord. And it moved on us. Yes. Uh, and it changed our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's, thank you that's the power of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. That's the purpose of it. It's the workhorse. Amen. To bring you into relationship with God. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My brother. Bishop, I was thinking when 
Elder Monte was saying when he was talking, what he was talking about, that the scripture tells us, touch not. Touch not? My anointing. My anointing. So you figure out who's anointed and figure out who you should be touching. <laughs> but the scripture tells us to touch not. Not my anointing. My anointing. My prophet no Amen. Amen. All right. Let's, let's, let's look at uh, back over the Psalms 20, 24. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Now, we have to remember that we are servants of God. And this scripture here, uh, in these first verses, verses Psalms 1 and 2, helps us to recognize that we are servants of God. Amen? That he made us. He created us. Uh, and everything in it. Amen? And all that I have, uh, if you allow me to say it that way, belongs to God. All that you have belongs to God. Amen? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof uh, and, and what? The world. <laughs> Uh, and all that dwell there. Now notice how he put that. He put that in such a way so you, a fool, would never. <laughs> uh, everything. Uh, the clothes on your back belong to God. Ha ha! Because the, the material that they made it out of, God created it. Amen. He's the author of it. Uh, even the faith that you have in Christ, uh, He's the author. Uh, he's the finisher. Uh, of your faith. Uh, hallelujah. My God. My God. So, so, so now, uh, that makes me to realize my dependency mm -hmm. is upon God. Yeah. Yeah. My focus should be upon God. Amen. Yes. Amen. My trust should be upon God. Uh, 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 let me say it a different way. Your focus, uh, your trust, your dependency yes, should be upon God and God alone. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. For these very reasons. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And then, oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Now, because of that, what can the enemy do unto me? Huh? Yes, huh? Because the Lord is my life. Yes. Huh? The Lord is my salvation. Yes. Uh, whom shall I fear? Amen. When the Lord, he's, he's, he's the what? He's your life. He's your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the what? Strength. Amen. He's your marrow. The strength. The bone marrow. Uh, of your life. Uh, whom shall you what? Be afraid. Amen. Uh, God got you. Uh, if you seek him, he got you. If you trust him, he got you. Am I right? Alright. Now let's, let's look here. Uh, he says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Now notice, he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Now, now that scripture there, that verse there, uh, you heard the word idiom, uh, Jewish idiom. Amen. And basically, it refers to a Jewish reference to something. Amen? Uh, it, it's a reference to something that, that brings out a message. Amen? So what, they, what, they, what they're trying to say here is related back to, to Genesis chapter number one. Uh, that in the beginning God uh, uh, created the heavens and the earth. Amen? And, and the earth was without form and void. Uh, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Yeah. Uh, so there was chaos going on. Uh, and God created out of chaos uh, and brought things into existence. Amen? Hallelujah. So he said, he founded it upon the seas, meaning he founded it upon nothing. Uh, he brought it out. <laughs> That's the kind of God you serve. He'll take nothing and do something with it. Yes, yes. Uh, this is what I just said. Yes. He'll take nothing and do something with it. Uh, call something out of nothing yes. into who can do that but God? 
Huh? Thank you, Lord. Now notice, notice, notice. He said he founded it huh, upon the seas. He brought it out. Now notice that word, and established it upon the flood. That word established it means that he did it with all wisdom, all knowledge, yeah. huh, and all understanding. Yeah. Huh, so that nothing that he has created shall fail. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. That's the kind of God you serve. Yeah. Huh? Nothing that he's done, nothing that he's brought out uh, into existence, he did it with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, might, and counsel so that nothing shall fail. Yes. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Thank you, Lord. That's the kind of God you serve. Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. That everything that he created was good and very good. <laughs> All right? Now, now we come to a question. Amen? We come to a question. Read. What does it say? Verse number three. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Uh, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Read. Or who shall stand in his holy place? Uh, now notice, uh, uh, David is asking the question, amen, who shall ascend uh, unto the hill of God is, God is holy. Uh, he said, be holy for what? I am holy. Amen. Uh, Moses wanted to see his holiness. Amen. He had to hide Moses in a cleft of a rock. Uh, allow him to see his hand upon Amen. Because God is holy. Amen. No man has seen God in live. Uh, why? Because God is holy. Amen. So, so I'm, just trying, to, I'm trying, to, trying to put it in your mind that he's righteous. Amen. And he's holy. Amen. So, so, so in order to approach God, even, my God, even the high priest, they had to go in once a year. Amen. To offer up sacrifices for sins for the people. Amen. And they had to be holy. Amen. Hallelujah. Had to have their sins covered. Uh, uh, not taken away, but covered. Because yeah. Jesus didn't come yet to take them sins away. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. They had them sins covered. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and they had to tie that, tie that string around their ankle, yeah. have the bells on the bottom of their skirt. Yeah. Amen. And then they went in to the, to the holy place to offer up a sacrifice unto God. And if they went in the wrong way, they died. Huh? Then they had to be drawn out. Oh, Why? Because God is holy. Amen. He's a holy God. Huh? A holy God. Amen. So that's the impression that He wants us to have. Huh? But but notice, notice. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Even though God is holy, He's not unapproachable. Huh? Uh, he wants us to approach Him. Amen. But before we can approach Him. We have to have our sins dealt with. Amen. We got to be like him. Huh? Huh? Am I right? Yeah. Huh? Didn't he call you a, a, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a, a holy nation? Huh? Didn't he call you that? Huh? God means that when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you become holy. Huh? Able to approach God. Amen. That's why he said in Hebrews chapter number 4 and verse number 6, uh, told us to, to come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. Amen. Why? Because it's holy. <laughs> well, well, hold, hold it. Go ahead. Yeah, Bishop. We, we, he come we, right. we can't go to God and ask God for something. Prayer, we're, we're full of sin. My God. Because God don't operate that way. My God. The word of God is, 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 is spiritual first. God Thank you. Jesus. Inward. Inward. He wants us to, he wants us to deal with ourselves first. Yes, yes. Before, that's true. before he be, begin to bless. That's true. Outward. That's true. So, mm -hmm. so that's why, you know, prayers don't get answered. Thank you come you. to God and you ask him for things, but you're not dealing with yourself. Thank you. You got to deal with yourself. Get yeah. right. Any kind of way. You can't just do any old thing, just hang on to. We got to realize even our certain questions.
Christ, we can't just any old thing just right. say, yeah. whatever we do, we should do to the whole honor of God. Yeah. Whether it's playing innocent, whether it's sweeping the floor, whether it's cleaning the bath. Yeah. Now, in the same context, as we come before God, and I was thinking about something Paul said, oh, to know him. Oh, to know him. If we only knew who Christ was, yeah. then we became his. Yeah. And all the other attributes that come along with it as being a child of the most high. But being the child of the most high, there's certain rights that we have yeah. as long as we walk correctly before him yeah. and obey his will and obey his word. Yeah. But so many times in this day and age, even back then, so many things, they can walk just any old kind of way, any old kind of way you want to do. We have, a, we have a merciful God, but in the same sense of having a merciful God, God will also pull you a short take. That's right. right. You know, look, this ain't going to be tolerated. Right. So therefore, correct. Uh, mm. you said, I'd rather be in the hands mm. God is said we still put me in the hands of him yeah. than in the hands of men. Because yeah. I know he's still going to have grace and mercy. Hallelujah. That's Amen. true. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's why we should love him. That's why we should serve him. And when we know, like he just said, God has a way. Yeah. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, yes. but the end of that way is what? Destruction. Yeah. Yep. Destruction. Amen. So we have to come to God His way. Yeah. Amen. Y'all way. <laughs> we got to come to Him His way. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Lord. I got it. Now, what, what Elder was saying, you know, uh, when that scripture says, God hears not sinners and when they pray, uh, it's not that God don't hear them. It's that, it's that God, oh, Lord, see, I was going to say something else. That was just my flesh kicking up. I was going to say, God ain't stuck me. <laughs> because they're asking for the wrong thing. Yeah. Uh, that's all I'm trying to say. And uh, he here, he may, because he, he's good to the just and the unjust, he may throw him a ball. Amen. Yeah. Uh, but, but God really hears those that uh, uh, want to be saved. Uh, pray, pray that they get delivered. Yeah. Now you got God's attention. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now you got it. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, see. One of the things you're talking about is um, praying for uh, when I used to drink, I used to pray for consequences to stop. I don't want to get arrested. I don't want to wind up going to jail. I don't want to get sick, right? Right. So so it was like, it wasn't falling on deaf ears. He heard me. But when yeah, I was praying, you know what, Lord? Remove this from my life. So right. I, that's now, what I That's yeah. the difference. Now, nah, exactly. Now, you got his attention. Now, now, now notice, notice the grace and mercy of God. Now, uh, he was praying that the consequences of his drinking didn't show up and all this and that and that. Now, God was merciful and didn't allow that to happen because of how he was going to use him. Yes. You follow me? That's, that's God's wisdom. Yes. You see that? Hallelujah. Uh, God. God, God will protect you in your sin. Hallelujah. Yes. Huh? Uh, because he, how he's going to use you. Amen. For his glory. Yes. Amen. Uh, that's, the, that's the mercy of God. Y'all don't, don't let me do this. Yeah. Go ahead, man. I was just thinking, uh, as we go through Proverbs, listen, it's almost like a parent-child relationship. If you can, he will. Huh. And his will, he will. I used to tell my kids, um, when they didn't want to do what they're supposed to do, but then they can ask me something. If your hands are broken, you can't do what you're supposed to do, my wife's broken. Right. So therefore, in the same sense, we have, oftentimes we have to be careful that we are not, we're in his name, abusing the grace and mercy mm. that he's given us. That's true. Not to run out. That's true. So therefore, we should not abuse the grace and mercy unto him. Because it's all, only because of his grace and mercy we should have that gift. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. My brother? Yeah. Um, you know, talking about coming to God in prayer. You know, the Bible says, Seek ye the he kingdom first, and all his righteousness. righteousness. His righteousness. And then, oh, yes, 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 so there's an order. There's an order. Yeah. There's an order. God has an order. That's good. That's good. I like that. God has an order. Amen? All right. So notice then, then, um, oh, I'm reading this. Okay. Uh, verse number two. Uh, he said, he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Then he asked the question, 
who shall ascend into the holy hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his what? His holy place. place. Who won't be able to stand uh, in the judgment of God? Uh, in his holy place. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And we've already established God is approachable. Amen. But you got to do it his way. Amen. His way of the highway. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. All right. All right. Now, then let's go to verse number four. Y'all with us tonight? All right. He that have clean hands and a pure heart. All right. Who have not lifted up his soul unto men, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the unrighteousness and the righteousness, I'm sorry, from the God of his salvation. Now, uh, so there are certain requirements here. Amen. There's certain requirements that God has of us. Amen. He that have clean hands, that clean hands deals with your life, your work, your, your activity. Amen. What do you mean? What have you done? <laughs> what have you been doing? Amen. What have you been doing? Thank you. So God wants your your life and your activity to reflect righteousness. Yeah. Amen. Clean hands. Clean work. Yeah. Amen. And you know, uh, that's why I really love the book of Proverbs. When you read the book of Proverbs, especially uh, chapter 1 and 2, it really describes uh, what people should do and tells you what to avoid. Yeah. Uh, uh, somebody, you know, like he said, somebody tell you, uh, let's go over to so-and-so's house and, and steal, you know, uh, because they're not there. You know, I tell you, quite frankly, refuse them. Don't go. Yeah. You would think that would be common sense. You know, but there's something in us <laughs> that wants to take that chance and go. Wow. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But then people get into trouble. Amen. Hallelujah. So God, he's concerned about what you do. Amen. And he's concerned about your life activity. Uh, the scripture says, let your light shine before men that they may see your what? Good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. God is concerned about how you treat people. Amen. How you love one another. Amen. Uh, God is concerned how you deal with money. Amen. Uh, he's concerned about all of that. A to Z. Amen. He's concerned. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, now, notice, he that have clean hands and a what? A pure heart. A pure, what does that mean, a pure heart? No, no evil intentions. No evil, no, uh, evil motives. No evil motives. No evil desires. Huh? No intent. What did Jesus say? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall what? See God. See God. Amen. We receive a late revelation of God. Amen. And that word heart right there, it deals with your intentions, your motives, your imaginations, your desires. Amen. Uh, the, the, your, what you meditate on, what you think on. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, God is concerned about all of that. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, so my thoughts got to be right. Amen? My motives of if I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Uh, so even my motive has to be right. Amen? Uh, I, uh, uh, people say, uh, forgive me if, I, if, if I've done anything wrong, you know, and, 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 but they know they did something wrong. Uh, I, I, they say, forgive me if I've done something wrong. Yes, sir. What's, what's your motive? Just say, forgive me. <laughs> you know, uh, forgive me. Help, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that's, that's not what I said to you when I came here. Uh, I said, Bishop, forgive me for what I said. Right. You said, I ain't going to say 
forgive me if I've done something wrong. Right. Because I know what the Holy Ghost was dealing yeah. with me about. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if just you, admit it. Right. Like whatever, you, you know if you offended somebody. Right. right. You know if you've done wrong. Uh, if, if you, you, you got to ask that I offend you, nine times out of ten, you offend yourself. Yeah. So, so, you know, uh, <laughs> God is into that. He won't, and, and, and like my brother said earlier, it's the inside. Uh, the inside, your motive, your intent. Your thoughts, amen, what you meditate on, amen. Thank you. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm looking at pornography, uh, chances are I'm going to have an opportunity, yes. amen, and because that's my thought, right. amen, I'm going to go into that, right. amen. If, if I'm thinking about God, I'm going to have an opportunity uh, to show God, yes. uh, and, and my, my actions are going to go into that, yes. amen. Yes. Uh, and, thank you, Lord. You know, I was I was at I was at I was at the funeral uh, Sunday, Saturday, Amen. It was Bishop Kevin. He preached a good message, a real good message, Amen. And I was sitting there listening. I was getting something out of it, you know. But when he flipped the script and started talking about Jesus, Amen, and how and how he's the Savior and being a, a deliverer, Amen. All that all that went through my bones, Amen, because that's what I was thinking about. Right. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, that, is, that ignited me. I like this message. You know, uh, but when, when he started talking about uh, what Christ can do, amen, what Christ has done, amen, why? Because that's my thoughts. Yeah. I think about that. Yeah. Uh, that excited me. That ignited me. Yeah. In fact, I stood up. <laughs> uh, uh, because there's power in me. Yeah. I believe in me. Yes. Amen. Why? Because that's what I'm giving my heart to. Right. Amen. What are you giving your heart to? Wow. What excites you? Mm -hmm. Amen. What motivates you? Uh, Amen. Uh, Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. Uh, my God. Hey! Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sister Dave. You really just describe what a pure heart is. Oh, what's that? What you just said. What you have to do. Every intention is to please God. Yes. Yeah. Every intention is to please God. Yeah. All the time, every time. Every time. All the time. Yes. That's the intent. And, and in order to do that, you must stay focused. My God. My God. Yes. And guess something? You know sweet people when you see them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because yes. that's their intent. That's their motive. Yes. They ain't trying to get over on you. No. Amen. They trying to love the hell out of you. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Help you. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. And they try to make it into heaven they sell. Amen. Hallelujah. Because their every intent is to serve God. What to God that that was our, 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 our sincere motive? Our only motive. Uh, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Uh, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. There it is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a pure heart. Amen. All right. Now, he said, you got to have a pure heart. Clean hands, pure heart. Read. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Uh, that's pride. Vanity. Pride. Nor sworn to I don't, I don't worship. Pride. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I, I got focused on something else. Uh, uh, thank you, Jesus. Be nor sworn deceitful. That's 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 uh, uh, intentionally lying. Amen. Uh, I'm lying. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking oaths uh, with no intent to complete it. Uh, I'm promising. Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll be there. No intent. <laughs> uh, no intent. That's serum deceitful. Yeah, that's serum deceitful. You have no desire. You agreeing with it and have no desire to do it. No, then what you say that you Right, yeah, you know that. You know right there. Not, not, not that you said you'd do it and something came up. That's different. But to say you'll do it, knowing that you ain't going to do it, that's deceitful. 
Lamb of God. If that's our God, right? You know, so we might give money, but if that's your God, then it's God ain't gonna receive that. He ain't receive. I need it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the only way to make this possible is through the sacrifice of Christ. Yeah. Now, conversely, with the sacrifice of Christ, Amen. I can live a clean life. Yeah. Uh, my heart can be pure. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't have to walk in pride or vanity. Yes. Amen. I humble myself. Amen. Uh, even, when, even when that prideful spirit spring up, uh, it'll spring up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. I can beat it down. Yes, sir. The Holy Ghost can beat it down. Yes, Amen. I can humble myself. Uh, talk to my friend. You better get yourself together. Uh, you better get it together for God, get you. Yes. <laughs> huh? Get it straight out. Yes. Huh? Thank you. Uh, Y'all with me tonight? Yes. Thank you. And, and if you're done by what he just said too, by meditation, washing yourself in that word, yes. uh, making it, making it literally, literally. I thought this out a couple years ago. Literally, God wants this word to become your thoughts. Yes. Uh, he wants you to think soberly uh, and righteously according to the scriptures. Yes. Amen. Yes. He wants you to base your life to on the word of God. Yeah. Uh, not on Dr. Phil. Not on what Oprah said. Huh? Uh, not on the neighbor down the street. Huh? But on the word of God. Yes. Amen. How shall a young man cleanse his way? Uh, by taking heed thereto according to the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You know, that's why... Uh, one of my major theme Bibles was the Thompson Chain Bible. How many of y'all studied the child heaven? I have. Yeah. Now, when you do that, uh, because it that literally connects the scriptures, yeah. it helps you to think according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, Is that like the Life of Recovery Bible, same kind of thing? Or? Oh, I don't know the Life of Recovery Bible. Well, that's pretty similar to what you're talking about. I never heard of it. You said it's called the Thompson Chain Bible? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 Oh, at the Bible store online, the Amazon. Yep. Yeah. It, it it literally connects the scripture on scripture, yeah. line on line. Amen. It helps you to think according to the scripture. Amen. That's how we gotta think. This word literally has to become our thoughts. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Then when we do that, we'll. We'll automatically, I want you to hear me, you'll start automatically rejecting negative thoughts without, without even thinking about it. It'd be like when Israel got that iron dome, huh? You know, when missiles are launched at you, uh, boom, huh? it'll, hit, it'll hit the world. Huh? That's in your heart. You say, ah, that ain't, that ain't God. That ain't God. You'll reject it. Amen. Thank you. You can literally become that way. And then listen to people. And they tell you something. Uh, you say, blessed is a man that walked the night of counsel of the other gospel. Uh, you know, let it go. Uh, my brother did my brother. It's so important that we know the word. Yes. Knowing who God is. Yes. Yes. It makes sense knowing who he is. I was thinking about something you said. How um, sometimes we, we, go, we go, we get lax of days on how we operate. And yep. we, we, we lie intentionally. We do things intentionally. Mm -hmm. um, it should be intentionally within us. As we walk this walk, things should fall off of us instead of connecting on. Come on! Of as we walk, we walk the higher acts of demons. That's something yes, that should be in us as we yes. be children of most high. Yes, in that same context, uh, therefore we should intentionally sin. Because uh, I think in the Hebrews, we crucify them again. Yes. 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 That's true. My brother. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.
talking about uh, being self-righteous or whatever. I was just so appreciative. <laughs> you know, in love with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I was literally, I was literally listening to people's testimony and, uh, at church. I was young saying, and people were telling me about the hard times they were having. And I said to myself, I was standing and I was listening. I said, Lord, how come how come I don't experience stuff like that? And the Lord said, because you don't do stuff they do. <laughs> I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> so he was, he was reinforcing. Uh, uh, what do you say? Transgressing is all. Amen. That's it. That's it. His yoke is. Easy. His burden is light. light. Yes. <laughs> hey! You know, I, I okay. find myself thinking that my appreciation comes because he called me back. Yes. That he didn't have to do. Yes. You may have gone somewhere, but he didn't have to call you back. Right. And to call you back with a full, well, your heart is right. Yes. I, I know what I need to do. I'm not there. But I'm trying to get there. I'm working on yeah. it. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I'm thinking you're talking about the Thompson. I got Bishop Thompson, and he's got his notes for it all the way see, through. See, That's a treasure. That is it. That's a treasure. Amen. Uh, it's good, eh, Mother? Hallelujah. Feed my soul. My brother.
Same thing that uh, Elder Jones, Pastor Jones yeah. was saying. I have not been where I am today all the time. Right. I have stepped. Don't don't, right. don't say you ain't never stepped out. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Now even that person had to say, I thank the Lord for bringing me back. Back! We all then came back. Yes. We may not want to admit it, but yes. we done all yes. came yes. back. Come to go. Huh? Yes, we don't all feel short. That's it. Uh, we might not want to say it, but I'm just thankful to be here today. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank God's grace. Yes. Amen. Wonderful grace. Somebody else had the hand. Well, I, oh, I, no, that brother there. Yeah, now, y'all know we got to continue this next week. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to get my word. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say that I, in relation to what you said, I'm Pastor John was saying. I do believe that people that came into Christ later on in life, you know, they have been out of the world like you have been. Yeah, I've been tired. Right? I'm tired. You came in tired. Right. <laughs> they were going to beat for years. Oh, oh my God. God. He was through with it. Done. So we were raised in the church. You made it. Yeah. Two weeks old. Yeah. We ain't never did that. I experienced nothing. Yeah. And you still got to grow up. Yeah. You still got to grow up. You got to go through all that. Puberty, everything else, you got to grow up. Yeah. And you grow up in church. And your mind ain't, you know, you live with God too. Mama's testimony, when she did it, was what God did for her. Mother Davis, or whoever gets up testifying, and you see it, God will do it. You don't know God. You're a kid. Not for yourself. It wasn't until life started kicking me, and I needed God, that I started reaching out to God. Now I began to learn God for myself. Right. You know, even recently, when my wife was sick, in the hospital, and I, I came and I was praying, and the Lord spoke to me and said, now you're learning with God. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. God will get on me. You know, I know him better today than I did last year by this time. Oh, yeah. Say it. Amen. Yes. <laughs> that must be good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. My brother. Yeah. Today, my sister. He it, wasn't, it wasn't until late that I even touched the Bible. I was almost 40 years old at this time. Thank you, Jesus. And so I had definitely, when you talk about being appreciative, yeah. once I fell in love with God, you know, the streets was like, because I had done everything. Yeah. So it was just me and God from 2008 to two, until he sent me back here, yeah. 2018. And my first pastor told me, he said, Monty, God gonna, he's gonna elevate, he's gonna grow in you at a fast pace because you have no interruptions. My, my. It's just you and God. <laughs> so when I came, when he sent me back here, and I was visiting your church a few times, yes. and I prayed and I said, Lord, what church you want me to join? He said, be still. Yes. Now the Lord deals with me. I'm, I'm just now finding this out. Thank you, Lord. And different, he deals with me differently. Why? I don't know. Thank you, Jesus. But when he told me to be 